Well, good morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton. It's so good that you to join with you for a few minutes here on this day of life. Trust that we can be a blessing to you today. So thankful that, you know, of all that the Bible says, I'm thankful that it doesn't say some things. Thinking about a verse of scripture that says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And so I meditated on that statement a little bit, and I thought, I'm glad he didn't say, uh, if you, you know, accomplish this or accomplish that, if you'll build a church of a thousand people, I'll give you a crown of life, or if you become known as a great soul winner, or if you go off somewhere and give your life as a sacrifice in missions, or, you know, just make any other requirements, he just said, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And, you know, oftentimes, uh, God only considers us to be successful when we are faithful. I know the world measures success in a lot of different ways, and we have a tendency as well to measure success in uh, different ways than perhaps what God does. I suppose in the eyes of the world, in the eyes of many people, I haven't been too successful, but I have been faithful, and that's what God requires of all of us, is to be faithful unto death that we might receive that crown of life. I thought briefly of just a few ways that I want to be found faithful, a few ways that I want to engage myself in being faithful to God. I want to be faithful to the Word of God. You know, we live in a time when the Word of God is oftentimes neglected or rejected. A lot of people just simply do not put a lot of stock in what thus saith the Lord these days. We kind of think it was for a different time and a different people, and God really didn't mean what he says in that particular scripture. He didn't mean it to apply it to our lives, but my Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine and for instruction and for reproof and so on and so forth. And so I believe that all scripture is for our good and all scripture is to be obeyed. And when I think about it, I want to be faithful to the word of God. I want to be found faithful in obedience to the Word of God. And God can help us to be found faithful in obeying His Word. I want to be faithful to the calling that God has put upon my life. I often think of how as just a young lad I felt the call of God. And I know that God's hand has been upon my life down across the years. And I want to be faithful to my calling. The Bible says the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance and you know, the work that God called me to do back when I was a young man, as long as I have the strength and the ability and as long as there is an open door, God expects me to be faithful to my calling. I could no longer, no, I, I could not lay down my, my uh, calling uh, just uh, on a whim or just because I get a little bit tired and I look around and see others that are enjoying their retirement years and and I think, you know, I'll probably never be retired, and I'm not criticizing those preachers that are retired today. Don't get me wrong. But I do believe, though, that I have to be faithful to my calling as long as there is an open door, and as long as there is strength, and as long as God continues to give me help. I've got to be faithful to the Word. I've got to be faithful to my calling. And I've got to be faithful to my flock. You know, God has made me an overseer. And I've got to be found faithful to my flock. I've got to realize that he said there are things that, that we are commanded to teach. And uh, I do think that we have a grave responsibility to our flock today to instruct them in the ways of righteousness, to encourage them in the things of God. Just so many opportunities of ministering to the flock over which God has made me a, an overseer. And, uh, you know, I'm just an under-shepherd today, but I am a shepherd, and I do believe that I have a responsibility of being faithful to my flock in ministering to them in whatever ways their need is and uh, in whatever ways I have the opportunity. So be thou faithful unto death. I want to be faithful to the Word of God. I want to be faithful to the call that God has put upon my life. I want to be faithful to those whom he has entrusted me so I will someday give an account of my faithfulness to them. May God help us all to be faithful unto death. 
that we might receive that crown of life. Heavenly Father, thank you for your help and grace that has enabled us to faithfulness down to this present time. Lord, we need your continued help. We need your continued blessing. Give us the grace that we need, Lord, that we may be found faithful in all things. Now, Lord, go with us throughout this day of life. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I've enjoyed sharing with you again on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton, and we'll plan on being right here tomorrow. So have a good day. Goodbye.